Hey, what's up guys? Adam here with a demo of the brand new Word Lens iPhone slash iPod Touch application. Now what this application allows you to do is translate text in real time. So you simply stick up your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or iPod Touch 4th generation camera up to an image or a sign with text on it. And what this does is translate it in real time. There's no need uh, for the application to open up a translator. You won't have to wait at all. Now, at the moment, this application is a free download. However, there is two in-app purchases that you will need to download if you'd be interested in these. And these are the Spanish to English translator, and this costs $4.99, and I do have that installed on my phone. And then there's a English to Spanish translator, which once again is $4.99 in an in-app purchase, and I do not have that on my phone. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into the application. I'll show you guys how this works. There's actually four modes in total. I just went over the two, Spanish to English and English to Spanish. And then as you guys can see up here, if you toggle that little key up there, uh, there is two demo modes, which basically have no real point to them, just as demos. And these actually come along with the free version of the application. But these reverse the words in the image or the sign, and this one erases the word. So let's go ahead and I'll first show you guys how the Spanish to English one works. And I do have a few printed out signs here because, you know, I don't really have any Spanish signs in my house to demo. But as you guys can see right here, I don't really know exactly what this sign means. Uh, but, you know, I don't need to. My application is here to save the day. Um, and I guess this means warning uh, not is permitted uh, consigned of head. So basically, for a warning for you guys, this application is not perfect at all. Um, you know, it does make quite a few mistakes in the act of translating. But you know, in general, you do get the uh, message that the sign or image is trying to say. So next up, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how this works on, you know, signs with some uh, different text. This actually has more of uh, a distinct style of text. It's not just normal uh, font. And basically, this is not going to work that great with something like this. Um, as you guys can see right there, you know, it's just uh, changing up the, the uh, text. It doesn't really know what it's saying. This one says, uh, warning. If you has a art institute or any uh, another implement similar, not pass on this notice. Please ask assistance, and the measures and the measures appropriate will be taken. So next up, let me go ahead and I'll switch to the other two demo modes. Uh, this is going to be the demo reverse words. Uh, the reverse words definitely does work a little bit better than the Spanish. Uh, let me go ahead and pause that right there. And, you know, you do get the general idea. It highlights the words because it actually uh, changes the font, so it works correctly. It says duty, um, and then it says if in the middle, which, of course, isn't correct. It should be F-O. Um, and then it says L-L-A-C, call backwards, and then it says R's black. Uh, but there's the final translation mode, and this is the demo erase words. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you guys how this one works as well. And... As you guys can see right here, it's trying to actually uh, wipe out the words. You know, it pretty much can work. Uh, they are pretty much black. You know, it got uh, four out of the five words completely black. And, you know, the duty was flickering on and off a little bit. Um, but, you know, this mode is pretty much useless. It works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. But there's not really much of a point to it uh, besides just as a demo. Uh, but there we go, guys. That is the Word Lens iPhone slash iPod Touch app. Uh, this is currently number one in the App Store, so I thought you guys would be interested in it. Uh, definitely an amazing, amazing concept. However, it's not perfect at the moment. Uh, but, you know, if you're in a uh, different country and you want to translate something, this unfortunately only works for Spanish at the moment. Um, but, you know, it generally does pretty much work. It gives you the general idea of what the message is saying. I'm sure in the future it'll be uh, tweaked a little bit to work a little bit better. But, you know, at the moment it's not a perfect application. But there we go, guys. Thanks all for watching.